stretch these better. Um, so this right here, this step, the brush to kind of clean that out with. Alright, so somebody in the past has caulked that, and I need to, but really all they should have done is pick that back up. This one over here. It's, uh, it doesn't need to be caught in like that. It just needs to be hammered up to get the angle right again. Today, we are going to do a quick garden tour. Okay, so we are going to take a real quick garden tour since uh, I'm kind of in between. They are pressure washing. Uh, they bleached the house first, that raw wood. I had been exposed to the element for, I don't know, a couple months. So he just bleached it just to be safe. There's not any uh, algae or anything growing on it. So. She's in pressure washing that bleach off, and then tomorrow we'll start painting. You can see on the porch, we've already got a lot of the wood replaced and uh, it's scraped down. I guess we're gonna start on this corner of the house and work our way around. Uh, sad news, we hired a contractor and they came out and set up their ladders and decided it was too much of a job for what was going on in his family at the moment, which we certainly understand, but boy, it was disappointing. Um, anyway, so I guess we're gonna try and tackle it ourselves, um, see where we can get, and then maybe we can uh, come across a good painting crew that's not gonna charge us $15,000 to paint a house. So anyway, we're gonna keep chugging along, taking a little bit at a time. So let's do the garden tour. Okay, so uh, we had just filled this in, the last garden tour, and I think I had put the green, the purple beans out. They're coming along nicely. They're getting really tall and putting off new leaves. They're in the back along the fence. This over here is regular green beans. Whoops, getting a little too close to the sprinkler. That in that little pot right there is uh, right, let's see, right there is cantaloupe and I will be planting that in uh, you know a third of the way down along the side over there so it can run out. We're going to be moving this dirt soon. Uh, we've got other places to put it. So you can see the bright green coming up here, 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 and here. Those are rows of corn. These three are sweet corn and this row right here is uh, blue gem, blue jewel corn. Uh, it's like a pastel, I don't know if you remember the, like what we called Indian corn when we were growing up. It had the red and black and yellow kernels on it. <coughs> People use it a lot for wreaths. This is the same kind, but it's pastel colors instead of the dark colors. These uh, that are spaced apart here in front of the corn is okra. We've got four, three rows of that. This little bundle right here, um, I had some wildflower seeds in my hand the other day and the wind blew them out. And uh, yeah, they're coming up. So <laughs> we have wildflowers right there. I really didn't think, uh, you know, them landing right on top of the dirt, not getting any dirt on top would uh, 
you know they would do anything with that but they sure did they're coming up so uh, this is uh, zucchini squash over here on the side over here we have this um, I'm gonna say it wrong every time it's Allegheny squash I've never grown it before I just wanted to see what it was about uh, I know some people online really had good reviews about it and said that it tasted great so we're gonna see uh, I've got you can see my onions coming up in in the squares here so I put one onion bulb in each one of these squares on this side this is butternut squash that is uh, the sugar pumpkin sugar baby pumpkin something like that small small pumpkins I think can you see my three tomato plants right there <coughs> excuse me let's go in here these are all of my tomato and pepper plants that were in the greenhouse I'm bringing them out to harden off and they will be put in the ground and what I don't put in the ground will probably be out on the stand for sale pretty soon so and I'll probably sell those for three dollars or something the strawberries are still loving their little environment here they're doing really well uh -oh. see a yellow leaf here anything going on uh, the squash and the cucumbers are doing quite well they're making this uh, plant are really pretty I love how it's filling it out and climbing up that windmill the banana plant is doing well um, I addressed the little bug issues and you can see that the new leaves are coming in I'm gonna stick in there uh, coming in nicely they're not I don't think I have any more pests whatever that was and this one is doing well uh-oh now these are new I think the pest just moved over here I have, to take, I have to take care of this one too now okay so in here I still have one cucumber uh, set not cucumber I'm sorry cantaloupe set uh, and I will plant that outside we've got another bed that we haven't filled up with dirt yet that I'll be putting that in. There's the lettuce and spinach doing nicely. I have our first salad I've had this week. I have some sweet peas over here. I think uh, I need to set these out in the water actually. Looking pretty bad. Uh, put these right down here with the, and I'll get some water from that sprinkler going. Anyway, I should not have planted those sweet peas. It's fixing to get super hot and they're not going to do anything. So I'm just going to let them go through their cycle and see what happens. Peanuts are coming along. Uh, radishes. I'm starting to bulk out on bottom. They're getting pretty tall too. Onions are doing well. These are giant marigolds. Can't wait to see what they look like. Here's the butternut squash doing well earlier in here we had a visitor and I don't see it unless it's flown away anyway it was a quail we hadn't seen a quail since we left Oklahoma so the uh, loofa sponge is doing quite well it's taking off I'm gonna see if I can train it to follow this top top rim around and uh, try to keep it contained into this. It may not work, but we'll see. The daddle pepper, got quite a few peppers on it. I noticed yesterday that I'm getting some yellow leaves. So I've been watering it uh, super heavy because it, it is a water hog. So I've been watering it for about an hour a day with a sprinkler back here. And the fruit trees are all looking great. They are not having any issues at all and they're blooming out nicely. Onions are doing good. Um, this, I wanna, it's, it's gonna be some wildflower. I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> I planted it there. <laughs> the um, key lime is doing well. Basil is doing well. Potatoes are about done. They're starting to die back. 
and uh, I'll be digging those up this week. So now these are the um, the darker green ones. I've got some there, and then this set right here, and this one. Those are bigger potatoes. They'll stay in longer. But these are just the little fingerling potatoes, and I'll be pulling those up this week. So yeah, that's it. That's the garden. It's my peanut plants. And they're doing well. All right, so back on to painting and scraping. Here we go. And you can see. I can get the camera in between the fence panels here. So you're continuing on. Got to on the ladder scraping over there. And I have to tell you, when we scrape, it's like all of the paint is coming off. It'll be a total prime job. It's going to be a big big job but we'll get it done it's just gonna take a little while all right we have an upstairs bedroom uh, Scott has bleached this roof and he's rinsing it off it's a whole lot better it's a part of it that he hasn't done yet today uh, we are going to Gainesville to take care of some uh, business that we need to do up there and we will be home tomorrow and I guess what's gonna happen all right see you soon God bless you until next time bye bye